Welcome to this video in which I will be telling you a secret about the ET9 suspension technology that hasn't been advertised so far but has, in my opinion, quite some future potential for other applications. So far we know that the ET9 will create a new benchmark for the smoothest ride experience. This suspension is more advanced than anything that is out there on the market. At NEO Day we have seen NEO even going out there and mocking Maybach for the fact that the NEO ET9 suspension is so much more advanced and in that test we have seen the abilities for example balancing champagne glasses while driving over obstacles demonstrating the comfort it can create and then Neo CEO Li Bin risking his lives demonstrating the abilities to balance out the car when the tires blow up at high speed so demonstrating the safety features that this suspension is bringing and aside of that some fun applications like juggling a ball or moving the vehicle chassis according to a film being watched inside of the cabin demonstrating that this suspension also has creative and fun applications. So NEO is bringing this technology with a company called Clear Motion into the ET9 and that's a company invested by NEO Capital but also as I've learned a long-term partner by NEO already for some years. Uh, it's actually an American company but with locations in Germany and in the UK and I happen to have met the CEO of Clear Motion when I had uh, you know, some time at the airport in Hong Kong in the lounge and was waiting for my flight heading back to Germany and I met the CEO, he's actually a German guy, it just happened by chance, but he was also on his way back from Neo Day and uh, it was first of all really nice to meeting him in person, he's a very nice guy and he also told me about his uh, background of working for Bosch and Continental in the past and you know developing this technology uh, and then overtaking um, clear motion at some point and while he explained a couple of things about the technology and how it works and how it's integrated with the vehicle and what makes it unique there was also one point that I didn't know before about it and that is also the secret of the ET9 that hasn't been advertised as much which is that this suspension is collecting actual 3D road data. As the suspension works to even out any road bump, it is super precise and it's almost like a normal person's foot on the ground with its nerve system. So feeling every bit off the ground and then reacting to it in milliseconds and adjusting the suspension and with that you know eliminating any, any road bumps if you want. Well it turns out that this is kind of connecting a real footprint of the real world, a 3D map of the road conditions wherever a car has driven and this is creating an entirely new road and map data that has not been available as of today. And the potential applications are interesting. Obviously more advanced autonomous driving but I think even more than that and, and I think even applications beyond the automotive industry like selling data to mapping providers, fleet management, like choosing more safe routes for example for autonomous delivery services, insurance insights, R&D for tires and vehicles, infrastructure and urban planning and of course robotics because in the end the car is just its robot feeling the pavement of the, the roads and is creating this 3D world. So overall I was excited to learn about this insight and the kind of R&D outcomes that NEO is achieving with bringing such technology into the cars and then possibly at some point it's trickling down into other models as well. So let me know in the comments do you think of any other applications for this type of data and what can be done with it. Thanks for watching, see you in my next videos.